look at this array of fruits and vegetables. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we're going shopping in El Mercado Central in Santiago, Chile. ¿Qué es, de, ¿Qué es el tipo de pesca? Pejerrey. 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 Sí. Uh. ¿Cuán dólar, cuán dólar, cuán? Los camarones y salmón. Mucho color. Front and center of the central market are the fish vendors. Let's meet one of the pescadores. Es muy rápido. ¿Cuántas, cuántas pescas tú cortes diario? Mil. Mil, mil. pesas. Sí, mil pesas. Presas. One thousand fish a day. Alvaro cuts. Cinco Given Chile's proximity to the sea, no shortage of seafood. Mussels, octopus, and here's something I've never seen before, locos. Crazy. Santiago's Central Market certainly comes with street cred. It has been rated as the fifth best market in the world by no less an authority as National Geographic. Built in the 1870s and imported from Scotland, the open-air roof, besides being pretty, does serve a function as the 360 degrees permits light to come in from all directions and, more importantly, ventilation to clear out the pungent fish smells. I love the green pedestrian lights in the intersections at Santiago. It gives a definite bionic six million dollar man effect with its motion. And yes, as the light is about to turn red, the man moves faster. The origins of Santiago's Central Market date back two centuries. It wasn't until 1870 when the governor declared that the market should be moved from the downtown administrative area to the present location near the Mapocho River. And the reason for that was for sanitation purposes, meaning the garbage will be dumped into the river all those years ago. Well, uh, I'm, I'm not in the market for bed sheets, but uh, they certainly look good. After crossing the Mapocho River, this is the La Chimba Barrio of Santiago, the energetic La Chimba. And behind me, that's the La Vega Market, where the fruits and the vegetables are sold. If there was no shortage of seafood in Chile, the abundance of produce that the Santiago Central Market and specifically La Vega has is bountiful and colorful. If you don't want your fruit served whole, there are a whole lot of opportunities to get the produce mashed, pulped, and otherwise liquefied into juice form. Not surprisingly, lots of flavors on the menu, including banana with milk, pineapple with coconuts, and here's a flavor that would cater to discriminating tastes, the natural juice of tuna. Tuna? Fresa con leche. Strawberry with milk. Chilenios are not shy when adding sugar to their drinks. Wow, I, I didn't think I would color coordinate my drink with her shirt. It's a nice effect. 
So the cost of strawberry with milk is about two American dollars. It's not a lot, but I am surprised at the prices in Chile. My daily budget after the hostel in Santiago is approximately 10 US dollars. So for me to drink 20% at one shot, mm, that's gonna cut into the daily budgets. So here, to answer my burning question, what is the natural juice of tuna, is the store manager, Gino. So Gino, what is, what is tuna? Well, uh, tuna is a fruit from a cactus. Ah, so it's not a fish. No. Oh, boy, that, fish. that's a relief. Now the problem, the problem though with the cactus is, do the espinas on la lengua? Yes. It's very, it's very sticky. Ah, so, so while we're not drinking fish, be careful about the spines on your tongue. Appropriately, a large Chilean flag to signify the largest area of La Vega. Santiago's market comprises of three areas, the largest of which is La Vega, comprising of 60,000 square meters, or approximately 12 square blocks. Well, there's no guessing as to what you're gonna get at Pickle Mundo. Look at the variety and colors of these pickled vegetables. Stepping into the outside portion of La Vega, the sun really illuminates the produce. Wow, look at the monsters of these corn. And we've got a price here of about uh, 10 for 100,000. So, so about 10 for 100,000, $1.50 each one. $1.50 each one. Wow, look at the size of this. That's a whole meal in and of itself. Santiago, Chile. A reminder, borders on budgets, long distance hikes, twice the life, but not a lot of money. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next edition. The central market of Chile has its origins dating back 200 years. However, the location of the central market today starts back to 1870. Welcome Chile, welcome Chile. When the governor at the time... Did you like this story? Good! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the button somewhere below there. And for extra support, smash that bell.